Do you want to win the Skyline GTR? Well, you can't because it's not that type of video. Make any car enthusiast smile with the word Skyline GTR. Today, I was given the rare opportunity to drive this Nissan R33 Skyline GTR. Despite having a popular name, the R33 is often disregarded as the least favorite of the GTRs. If you were to ask me to pick a favorite, I would choose the R32 GTR, which once dominated Group A racing. But maybe some seed time in this... Oh wait, wrong side. But maybe some seed time in this Midnight Purple Beauty will change that. Now why was the 33 the least favorite of the brothers? The consensus seems to be the increased weight and wheelbase of the car, making it feel like a boat. While the R33 is heavier, the distribution of weight is actually optimized for driving. What many people don't realize is that when it comes to driving, there's a lot more factors than just numbers of weight and power. Improving from the R32, this model's fuel tank was moved to under the seat, the battery moved to behind the seat, and the headlight and intercooler are lighter, centering the weight, meaning an overall improvement to stability while cornering. Also, the R33 chassis was stiffened, and the front lip was extended in order to reduce front lift. Despite having a longer wheelbase, this car has less of a natural tendency to understeer than its predecessor. I'm sure you've read the brochure a million times, but let me help you touch up on your JDM knowledge. The R33 GTR has a 2.6 inline six, the RB26 DETT, which is officially rated at 280 horsepower with a little bit more on the dyno. It comes with a five-speed manual transmission. This car in particular is a V-Spec, which means it came equipped with a little sportier suspension. One unique thing about the Skyline GTRs is the super high cast. On the R33, it's an electronically controlled four-wheel steering mechanism developed by Nissan that helps steer the rear wheels according to the speed and lateral G of the vehicle while driving at 30 kilometers an hour or more. It doesn't seem like this technology is used in newer Nissans, making me wonder what the reason was for removing it. I looked into the unpopularity of the car on the Japanese forums, and it seems like a lot of Japanese enthusiasts would take their R32 GTR on the toge. And therefore, they were expecting a much smaller car from the R33 GTR for their narrow Japanese canyon roads. Although our canyon roads are wider, let's see if I notice anything particular about the size during our drive. your mind about the R33? Do you want one now? Well, unfortunately, the prices of Skyline GTRs have been surging and the used car market is at an all-time high. The R33 GTRs seem to average around 55,000 USD at the moment. But if you wanted to import one to the USA, it would be possible because they are 25 years old. You'd have to find a trusted agent in Japan to handle exporting the car and a broker here to import the car and successfully complete paperwork. After spending the day with the R33 GTR, I can definitely say it has a newfound place in my heart. There's just something about the way that it handles in the canyon, the sound of the RB roar, and the nostalgic scent of the 90s squash, reminding me of my Japanese grandpa. <laughs>